What's going on, everybody? It's Monkey Farm here on Hermitcraft. Uh, I hope you guys uh, were able to log on over the weekend. We had a uh, public server tour event where uh, we cloned the server and uh, everybody was able to log on. It was had it like a thousand slots, I think. I think it actually filled up, or if not, there were like 500 or so people all on at the same time. It was crazy. Um, had some laggy issues in the beginning. Uh, it was actually just a cluster blank. The <laughs> not not the server part. Everything. Um, I had posted a video on YouTube, which of course nobody saw because YouTube was having processing issues. It was basically just not processing, uh, not not doing anything. So um, so I made a video. I tried to post it. Um, didn't work. Then we go on the server. We we're having some lag and things like that, and just uh, seemed like everything was going against us, but um, oh, I still haven't made a way down, have I? Well, I guess I can. Uh, anyway, so for those of you who did log on, I hope you had fun. Um, I was only there for probably 10, 15 minutes, but uh, basically by the time we had logged on and cleared up all the issues, uh, I had to go do other things that I had planned. So um, anyway, I did I did get to see a bunch of you. Uh, some of us climbed up the skull and stuff like that. Um, anyway, I want to build something cool today, or at least get started on it. I have a donkey and I have mules. Um, actually, let's see, do I have any apples on me? That's weird. There, I do have some apples. Let's um, let's make some gold or golden apples. Oh, I guess I need two, right? We need to breed another mule, and uh, I don't remember. Can we breed them with anything else? Come on, donkey, mule. Hey, baby mule. Look at that. Hey there, little feller. We're going to sell you. <laughs> oh, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Um, I'm going to build a little shop over there, and we're going to sell some mules. It's going to be a mule shop. I think I have a good plan to do it, but we will find out. Uh, we can give this guy wheat, right? I think to make him grow quicker. Should we do that? I think that works. I need to uh, need to get this guy out of the wall. Looks like he's gonna totally like glitch and die in the wall. Looks like. Um, I guess it takes a lot of wheat to grow these guys up, huh? There we go. And we need to give this guy a chest, of course. Just one chest? Oh, we can't give him a chest yet. We have to tame him, right? So let's do that. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, he loves me already. That's uh, very nice. And then now we can give him a chest. So he's got some inventory space now. We can store some items here. Uh, but we're not going to do that because we're going to... Oh, how did I... What? Oh, this is not a good storage area. Uh, let's go find a spot. All right, so here's the town center. I'd like to build it somewhere around here because uh, that'll give you know people a chance to actually see it. Uh, Mumbo got a pretty good spot for his redstone consultancy shop. And uh, I'm looking around here. It doesn't look like there's any other spot available. Everything else pretty much has something on it. That that lot is taken. Uh, that lot is taken, or at least it has a sign. So uh, I'll, even though everybody's kind of, we're going to be moving away, I think, or at least some people will. We're going to be moving for 1.7. Uh, we're going to be going out into the new chunky areas. Um, uh, 
but you know, some of us are still going to be in the area and we're considering, you know, building some kind of transportation system or maybe even a command block out to the new area. I don't know. Um, I was at work when everybody was discussing what to do. So I'm not sure if, uh, if we all decided on anything yet, but, um, basically I think, oh, well, I need to get some inventory and stuff, but, um, Oh, I can't use stone bricks either because he just used stone bricks. Man, I don't think I know how to build anything without stone bricks. Uh, I guess we could do some wood. Could build some wood stuff. And we have some, uh, some of that for windows. Uh, why don't we build a couple posts up here, pillars to walk through. Is that right? Something like that. Oh. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to have a walkway. And there's my dinky little axe. Do something like that. And uh, I guess I can put some. Oh, these don't grow, go diagonally, really, do they? Oh, that looks okay, I guess. I can handle that. You guys seeing the lag? It seems seems kind of laggy. I don't know what's going on here. All right, so I'm not going to spend too much time on the building yet uh, because... Actually, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to build the shop today. Um, it's actually kind of late. We'll figure out um, figure out how much we can build today. I have a little shop design that I think will work. Um, we'll just have to, uh, you know, put it all together. So this will be our little entrance. We can put, um, can't put a sign there. Uh, I don't know how we're going to have a sign, actually. I wonder if Mumbo's going to be mad. This is kind of like... Oh, there's still walking distance. That should be okay. Did I leave my crafting bench here from last time? I did. Nice. Okay, so I've got a little entrance here and a little area kind of blocked off. I don't know how much space I'm really going to need, but um, what I'm going to do is build an item shop Similar to the one I did on the last Hermitcraft map, the difference is, is that this one is not going to return an item into a chest. This one is basically just going to activate some redstone uh, once, they, once the buyer, the happy buyer, uh, puts the item that we want them to pay. Um, once they put that item in, this thing will activate the redstone and basically uh, dispense <laughs> a mule or a donkey. Uh, yeah. What is it, a mule? Yeah, it's a mule. So the donkey is the mother uh, of all of them. And so we want to keep that one for sure. We're not going to give that one up. I don't think anybody else has found a donkey on the map, but um, now that we're, or now that everybody else seems to be moving to uh, 1.7 new chunks, uh, I'm sure they'll find uh, donkeys all over the place and uh, somebody will end up making their own mules, so I won't be the, uh, the monopoly in the mule space here, but that's okay. Uh, oh, we need some more chests for the hoppers. Uh, how many hoppers do I need? Probably two, I guess. So let's make two. And the way those go is you point one forward and then another one forward. And that one will go into a chest or another hopper or something like that. Um, I'll worry about that later. Well, I guess I can put a chest there in the meantime just in case. So this is obviously... Um, we're not really worried about people stealing stuff, so if that were the case, um, I would probably be a little bit more careful or try to hide this somehow, but uh, I don't think we really need to worry about that. Um, I need 
to put a stair over this so that the chest can open and that items can go in the chest. Okay, we're all set there. All right, a um, couple different things this thing has to do. So it has to identify if there is an item in this hopper. So I made a comparator. We're going to use that. And then, uh, actually, you know what? I don't want to use dirt blocks. That's too fragile. OK, and um, let's see. Get some redstone coming down here. And this will go down underneath. And we'll have a repeater pointing back into, uh, let's see, uh, a block with a redstone torch underneath that to let the items through. So with that, I have a repeater also. And I'm pretty sure we don't need any ticks on that. And a torch. All right, so this is actually all I'm going to need for the, uh, I guess, the, the cash register or the vending machine aspect of it. All right. I just thought of something actually. Um, I don't I don't remember which which hopper I put the items in, but we need to do things a little bit differently um, because I, I just remembered you can see into the hopper because the chest is not a full block size. Um, so we're gonna lower everything one block. And that way we will um, we'll just put another hopper pointing down into that. And basically that will keep everything secure. Um, like I said, I, I really don't need to worry about people stealing stuff, you know, but um, there's no point in having it where they can just, you know, take the item right out of there. Uh, because I, I, I think I'm going to be charging like a diamond block, something like that. So um, I'm going to have to leave a diamond block in here for people to pay with, and that's going to be kind of, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe... Maybe somebody might want to uh, steal a diamond block. Who knows? We'll see. But um, we're just going to lower everything a bit. All right. So that. And then. Okay, so I uh, put a hopper down there, so now uh, nobody will see anything here. So the uh, the problem is that they can put some some junk inventory in there. All right, so I'm going to put iron bars in here, just because it's kind of a random item that I don't think people will think of. Uh, and let's see, let's put a redstone block. So if I put in other items, they will go into here. Um, all right, let's finish building this thing, that, 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 everything, okay, there's that. So I put some iron bars in here, a block of redstone, um, now let's put, let's take some redstone out of here and just so we can see if it activates or not. Um, so if I put other items in there, they'll disappear. Um, but if I put this in, it will shut the light off. So watch the redstone over here on the screen. So I'm putting all sorts of junk items, right? And <laughs> if people try to rip me off, then, you know, it'll all just end up in that thing. But if I put a redstone block, that thing will blink. And that's all we need to activate the redstone and let our mule out of the cage, so to speak. Um, what I'll be doing is probably... Maybe what I'll do is I'll put I'll put the mule uh, elevated a few blocks in like a, a little viewing, you know, a viewing window shop area. And then uh, when this thing activates, I'll have it open up pistons and drop them down or something like that. 
Um, but let's see, I'm not going to totally do that just yet today. Um, so there's all our junk stuff that I threw in there. All right, so that's all we're going to do today. We've got the, uh, the vending machine mechanism in place. And uh, so next time what we'll do, you know, we'll, we'll bring the mule in, we'll finish the shop, we'll make it activate, we'll put some diamond blocks in here to uh, make that the currency that people have to use to pay. Um, why don't we put up a sign, though, real quick so people know what's going on here, that this is the future, future home of Monkey Farm's mule shop. That way, people don't freak out. Um, oops, that almost became uh, <laughs> profanity. But uh, luckily, I typed the wrong letter. Um, so we'll worry about we'll worry about that later, fixing this thing up. But yeah. Let's let's put some kind of nice sign on the other side, just so it looks you know, looks like uh, it belongs. So we'll we'll do this. We'll get the mule coming through. Um, this is three blocks high, so somebody riding a mule out. Oh, you know what else we'll do next time is uh, we'll put a dispenser and we'll dispense a lead, so that people can you know lead their mule away since I'm not going to have saddles to give everybody. Who knows if anybody's, if anybody's even going to buy these things, so I'm just setting up shop. We'll see. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for today. Uh, next time we are going to put that puppy in there and, uh, and we're going to, we're going to sell him for a diamond block. Let's see if, uh, let's see if we can get some diamonds out of it. And uh, we'll see you next time.